Hey y'all, G Productions here, and in today's video, we are gonna do a video of something a bit different. It's gonna be doing some unpopular opinions about the doll community. If this video goes well, I will do unpopular opinions about other brands like Rainbow High or Monster High, but I really wanna just dive into the doll community and things that just irk me about the doll community. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that irks me about the doll community is that literally whenever something new drops, it's literally every time, whether that be Bratz, whether that be Monster High, whether that be LOL OMG, rather that be Rainbow High, there's always so many people, like thousands of people who will literally nitpick everything about the doll. And honestly, it's a little bit annoying. I know you guys really love these dolls, but at the end of the day, these are ch children's toys. They are not that big of a deal that you guys are literally tearing them to shreds over the literalist of details. Like, can we please just appreciate the piece of plastic we are being given? It doesn't need to be that big of a deal to like nitpick little things about the doll community. Honestly, it really irks me when I see people talk shit about boy dolls. Like, I know they probably designed the female dolls to be a bit better because those sell better, but girl, literally I see on people's stories every day when a new doll line releases, they always just rank the boy last. Not because of what he looks like, but for the sole fact it's a boy doll. When there are female dolls in that lineup that are fully worse, but they will rank them higher because there's a boy in the line. So like, can we please stop like the boy hate? This is not what gender equality is about. Let's actually appreciate the boys for once. Thank you. One thing that irks me about the doll community is how people will say on their stories how Mattel or MGA, mostly Mattel with Monster High, should not send PR influencers PR, which I can see where they're coming from, but then they don't put in the same energy at yelling at Mattel for giving us more dolls, like stocking up more so collectors can actually get the products or not yelling at sellers on Macari or yelling at sellers on eBay to stop this immediately. Because I really wish some of y'all would just put your energy into yelling at Mattel, at yelling at those scalpers, rather than yelling at somebody who's a part of our community about getting a doll for free. Like, that is their job. It's PR. It's to promote the product. It's not because Mattel likes them. It's because Mattel wants their dolls to sell. So please, if somebody gets PR, don't yell at them for getting PR. Yell at the scalpers for over-scalping them. Yell at Mattel for not producing them. Like, it's not that hard. I don't really think we should be yelling at influencers for getting PR. Point blank period. Sorry if this video really did drag on at all. That was not my intention. I think I'm a person who just hates when I see this kind of stuff in the doll community. And I really think we should just be more appreciative of our community because we are all we have. And yelling at each other is just not gonna help anything in the world. So let's be appreciative and support each other and lift each other up rather than tearing people down for something that we can as I've just yelled, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any unpopular opinions about the doll community, you guys would like comment down below. Let's see like what other people think. Also subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate 2.5K. That's my goal right now. And make sure to like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye y'all.